Hi everyone, welcome to a brand new video. In this video, I'm not going to take you through any DevOps technology or any, any tutorial video to talk about uh, any of the DevOps tool sets. Rather, a big news by a company called HashiCorp. Now, if you're using tools called Terraform, very popular tool, right? Packer, HashiCorp, Wall, Boundary, Networking like Consul, and then Nomad, Waypoint, Vagrant. If you've used all of these tools, I'm sure if you have, if you're working on any of the DevOps uh, tech stack, uh, Terraform is hugely popular, right? So all of these uh, tools are founded by a company called HashiCorp. And the tools which I just mentioned, like Consul, uh, Vault, uh, Terraform, uh, and uh, Packer, all of these tools are, we've been using open source, we've been using free of cost, uh, but with open source, there's a community version, a proprietary tool also comes into the place, which, which wherein some of these features are hidden from the open source, and that's how HashiCorp kind of makes money. But recently, they announced that they are adopting business source license, and this is actually, is actually creating a lot of chaos in the tech world, a lot of companies are discussing about it but before getting into that let's talk about what's happening in the business source license they changed the, earlier it was a mozilla uh, based license now it's business source license what does that mean that means now none of the companies cannot use hashicorp commercial product like hashicorp's features to compete against their commercial product now hashicorp's has two Let's suppose Terraform. Terraform has got one open source and a paid one. Now, whatever features or whatever offering HashiCorp made on the paid one, any of the other competitors cannot offer the same set of features because it's it's a direct competition to HashiCorp's business as well. Do you know there are actually companies who, who are actually innovating? They see that there are a bunch of features or innovation which is missing in HashiCorp's paid version tool and they kind of leverage them, they kind of innovate on top of it and they build it. Companies like Spacelift. Now, Spacelift is a company, very popular company. Um, it's a startup like in the market couple of years and they say that it's it's a flexible tool to manage your CI CD platform using Terraform. Not only Terraform, but also uh, Pulumi or Kubernetes as well. So this is like a competition to HashiCorp's paid version of Terraform, which is Terraform uh, uh, Cloud or Terraform Enterprise, whatever you know, ca call them. So they have built on top of Terraform and they're saying that you could run your workflows on top of Spacelift. And uh, the, another company, this bunch of many companies so I've just taken these two companies There's another company called nv0 now nv0 again say that deploy infrastructure code with confidence it's uh, automates your terraform terracord so it's they not only do terraform uh, they do other bunch of uh, infrastructure as a code as well likes of cloud formation or terra grant so they kind of build on top of these tools and then provide you the workflow management tool so that it's similar to your terraform cloud but HashiCorp, a recent change has led to uh, quickly release, a lot of uh, release of the press notes like uh, Spacelift has recently, they've uh, rec uh, made uh, an announcement that what does this change mean? So they are kind of explaining that it is, they are trying to work out with their lawyers or advocates that how it can impact their existing customers. But they have made it very clear that the, the license change is not, is not impacting any of the current customers. So whatever up to Terraform 15.5 until 1.5.5, uh, uh, nobody is going to be impacted. Can they do it? Yes, they agree that HashiCorp can do it. Uh, but actually, they are also telling us that it is there is a lot of innovation which they are also doing, and they are also contrib contributing to a lot of these product and and all of these companies are doing some sort of open source contribution as well, and similar to N zero as well. All right, so that was about um, now HashiCorp has uh, given a detailed page that what BSU license is all about, but basically it's like. Any company who uses Terraform, any company who uses your open source product and build something to commercialize it, to monetize it, that kind of comes under BSU license that without their um, th their agreement, HashiCorp's in this case, it's HashiCorp's agreement, you can't build uh, any any of these commercialized product which is directly competing with against HashiCorp's paid products. 
this is not the first time this is happening i could would like to quote another example also a couple of years back few years back amazon did the same so amazon kind of used the elastic search and tried to build something on top of it called it open search uh, and that's why you will find articles like amazon open search service is not elastic search so amazon did same did the same thing they used the open source version of elastic search and kind of try to commercialize it open elastic search then came out in public and they kind of changed their uh, licensing model and then uh, amazon had to fork the repo and start building uh, from there so that's why the whole uh, saga of uh, open source force and then uh, uh, business source license as well as of now uh devops engineer like us if you're an end user who is using terraform if you're a company using terraform just for your infrastructure development you're not commercializing it you are not affected at all that's pretty clear and uh, hashikov actually mentioned in this article that current customers or current users who are not commercializing it they are not affected at all you can still continue to contribute raise pr uh, have the community discussion everything still remains same it is only impacting the companies organization who try were trying to commercialize it uh, i don't know if it's bad or, or or not but i think it's it's all about innovation these companies have also found something something which was missing in terraform open source or, or uh, the paid product and they try to build on top of it so there's pure classic example of innovation on top of uh, what's missing and that's my personal take so i thought i'll just quickly share with you what's happening around the business source licensing in hashicorp i hope this was informative thank you